So I came to Shalavim in August 1991 and, and really had this chus of being there for two years. I uh, was part of a large class, about 77 Talmidim. We came from all over the country and it was really a very special experience. Had a wonderful first year Rebbe, uh, Rebbe Yamer, uh, who of course we're now uh, celebrating with his coming into the yeshiva as the new Rosh Yeshiva. He really was incredibly warm, opened himself up, and that really allowed us to create a close relationship early on. And throughout the year, it was a very special year, a wonderful experience of learning, growing and learning, learning how to learn, having a close relationship with Rav Yamer and other Rabbeim who were there, really developing a closeness. The chaver that was there together. My friendship with Jeremy really began before we came to Yeshiva Shalavim together. But it was during Rosh Hashanah Aleph, and through Rosh Hashanah Bet together, through the Shabbatons and through the Tiulim, through our Chavrusa together, and through the late night discussions, that we really became very, very close together. Jeremy came to the yeshiva 25 years ago and was my student. From the first minute, you saw how it was important for him to understand everything to have that sakranut, to want to know, and in the same time to see how it fits in the word. Jeremy was someone who was coming into the yeshiva with the drive in the base medrash and his interest to make the most of his experience. I knew mid-year, I would say, coming around February, March, that I wanted to stay a second year. Fortunately, was able to convince my parents to give me the, the zchus of, of being in yeshiva for a second year, at which point I came back and had the zchus of being a Talmud of Rav Yaakovson. Oh, it's a very good time to thank Jeremy for me. Jeremy was a student of mine, I remember that he came in a young man, like all the young men. He started, but immediately he was excited in his love, 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 in his love. בחן המיוחד שלו, והוא הלך והצליח, וברוך השם הקים משפחה לתפארת. ג'רמי באמת מצליח לחבר תורה עם דרך ארץ, את עם ישראל, עם תורת ישראל, עם ארץ ישראל, לעלות כאן לארץ, להקים בית נפלא, להמשיך להיות קשור לתורה. שמחה גדולה, גאווה גדולה לי ולישיבת שלבים. On one hand, they're Rosh HaYeshiva, and I give them tremendous cover and respect as Rosh HaYeshiva, but to me, they're both my Rabbeim, and I've had the real privilege over the course of these past 25 years of maintaining a very close kesher and relationship with both of them. The Simcha Tachayim that Jeremy and Tamar has is very, very special. Every time that you speak with them, you feel how they love Torah, how they love the Chaim and how they know the connection between the two to do in the best way. Their Aliyah to Eretz Israel, that always is not easy, was done with so much inspiration, with so much love to Eretz Israel, to Medinat Israel, and they succeed transferring that love to their kids and to everyone that speaks for them. My wife and I, for years, had thought about the possibility of spending at least a year in Israel. We had, thankfully, many friends that had made Aliyah. Uh, they had paved the path before us. Some had done it very successfully. Some were having a harder time. And so we wanted to approach Aliyah in a, in a cautious way. We knew that we wanted to spend time there as a family. And we knew that we wanted to give ourselves the chance of making it hopefully work. But at the same time, we were not the family that sold everything in the States and said we're going no matter what. When the economy turned at the beginning of 2009 and everything around us was crashing, but Israel was not, it also coincided with my law firm becoming one of the largest in the world. I had this very unique window to go to the CEO, who happened to be Jewish at the time, and say, listen, we're growing all over the world. We're opening offices everywhere that you can turn, but we have no focus on Israel, Chaval. Israel is a market where companies are being created for the purposes of expanding globally from day one. I went to the CEO of the firm and said, I think that if you put me on the ground in Israel for a year, there could be a real opportunity to introduce the global capabilities of our, of our firm on the doorstep of Israeli companies. But to be able to bring a one-stop shop for them that brings them 
Western talent and sensibilities by way of the US and the UK, but also can offer Japan and Australia and South Africa and Brazil. And, and ultimately, with their support, I earned the opportunity to come here for a year. It came in the summer of 2009. I did exactly what I pitched to do. The Israeli business community is massive. It's grown dramatically, and I would say we probably are the only ones in the market from a legal perspective uh, who can offer this global one-stop shop to the business community. And what that's done, aside from, thank God, the business that it's generated for my firm, um, there are two side benefits that have really increased. One is the firm has recognized the strength of this practice, and as a result, we've institutionalized it. They've made an official Israel practice group within our firm. Um, and now I would say 95% of any matter that touches Israel from abroad comes to my desk. What it's done for me is it really has taken me out of being a well-situated, qualified lawyer in the United States, operating within the, uh, the, the, the four walls of my practice in Washington, D.C., to really being an international lawyer, really being a, having an opportunity to be a player in a much broader scene. So I feel that Shalavim really uh, instilled in me a, a number of values that I still hold very near and dear to my heart. The skills of learning how to learn and being Kovea Itim, which fortunately I, I have the privilege of doing still today. Part of it is not just the Talmud Torah of learning, but really how to be an active, committed Jew. Being an active, committed Jew entails making Tzfila B'tzibor a priority, the importance of communal activity, Shalavim is not just an organization that operates within its four walls. It's very much a yeshiva and a, and a community that's focused on creating light amongst the Jewish people. It's just the love of Medinat Yisrael. Living there, having an opportunity to live as an Israeli with Israelis over um, an extended period of time really gave me a phenomenal love of the country and a real longing to find a way back.